the ability to use violence will always exist. And as demonstrated, um, the ability for some nasty people and the, their, their willingness to attack others will always be there. The difference is, right now, I compare the number of people who individually, without the myth of the state, will on their own feel justified in trying to rob me. It's not very many, so far it's never happened. As it happens, I have a gun in case it ever does happen. The number of people who advocate that I be robbed because they believe in the state is about 300 million in this country. It'd be six billion if once we get world government. So the don't underestimate the gigantic factor of perceived legitimacy of the attack and the robbery. Like when people say, well, without the state, a gang could come along and do that. Can you imagine a gang of 100,000 people robbing 200 million people? That's what the IRS does. And the only reason it works is because the victims hallucinate legitimacy. I guarantee to you, if tomorrow nobody imagined the IRS had the right to do it, the IRS wouldn't be there the next day. comment on what you, what Larkin mentioned yesterday, once you get to a voluntary society, and like what Butler was talking about, the vertical structure of society is gone, people don't accept the program anymore. I mean, they just, it, it, like you mentioned, we're not going to go back to a flat earth or where the, the earth is the center of the universe. It's just people won't accept the program anymore. So how do you take over? Yeah, there's going to be violence, but there's going to be, like you're saying, there's going to be organizations and businesses to take care of that. But they're not going to set the program anymore, so it really is not something that can happen.